Hiya guys and welcome to Jank Quest. Today we bring you something very, very special. We have the Ultra Premium Collection Charizard box. So this is brand new out today at time of recording. They're really, really hard to get hold of. So we're gonna show you the contents of the box today if you haven't managed to get one and hopefully we'll have some good pulls. Obviously it does include booster packs and lots of other goodies. So let's get to it guys. Make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out and ensure you're subscribed. Time to get into it. Obviously, this is going to be a great investment piece. It'll no doubt massively increase in price over time. But where's the fun in hoarding the products? Let's slip that part off. Let's see how this opens up. Okay, so it just unfolds there. So we've got a nice big picture of the Charizard V Max here. So it's got three different departments. It's also got a book in here, I believe this shows kind of the history of the Sword and Shield set. So it starts off obviously with the base Sword and Shield, goes through the sets up until present day. So it's a nice piece of history and it shows obviously the upcoming Silver Tempest as well. So we have in here our absolutely stunning promo cards which we'll have a look at in a second. It's also quite a nice storage box to be honest because it's got these little drawers to it. So we have two Lost Origin, three Astral Radiance, we have three Brilliant Stars, three Fusion Strike, three Evolving Skies, and then we have a Vivid Voltage and a Darkness Ablaze. So there's a pretty nice selection in there to be honest. So we'll get to those in a minute, we'll leave them till last. So we have some beautiful gold metal damage counters. So those are definitely like a nice little bump to my collection. And then to go with it, you also have the status condition, which are also gold and metal. We have a acrylic V-Star counter. It would kind of have been nice if that was metal as well, but I'm not gonna be too greedy. And then we have this awesome Charizard gold flipping coin as well. So that's really nice. And historically, those have also gone for money separately. So there's lots of value to be had. We have these awesome VMAX Charizard sleeves. That's like the new promo art. And we'll just open up the promos now. So these alone I've seen people paying a lot for on pre-order. So first of all we have the Charizard V. This looks absolutely stunning the way that it's a sleeve, so cute. We have the Charizard VMAX, very menacing looking. Uh, which I do like how they've used different art styles as well on each of these. And then finish it off with the newer mechanic, we have the V-Star, where we've got Charizard Battle and Mewtwo. And we've also seen from an upcoming Japanese set that's just been announced, V-Star Universe. There's also the opposite perspective, where we've got the Mewtwo V-Star fighting Charizard. So that's really cool that they've done that. So yeah, just picking up these promos alone guarantees that you're gonna get some good pulls. Just pop those over to one side. We have the play map which is really nicely packaged as well, to be honest. So we'll get that open. I think we need to lay out this Charizard playmat for the rest of the video. What do you guys think? Be unfair, I think, not to. So it's really vibrant and dynamic, beautiful mat, and we have the beautiful cards to go with it. So next, we will get to all these different packs. We'll start off with the Darkness Ablaze, which has the Charizard on itself. So we've already got some nice stuff just guaranteed, which is why this product is so good. But it would be cool as well if we can get some nice pulls to go with it. So we start off with the Dark Energy. Old PC. We have Steeny. Uh, we have Soul Rock, Pan Sage, Wishy Washy, Rookity, Torchic. Mr. Mime, the Galarian one. We have Golisopod, and behind it, oh, that's very nice, we have a full art. We have Rhyperia V. That's awesome, we're off to a flying start already. It's almost got like a tie-dye effect to uh, the art on that. So what we'll start doing is using our brand new sleeves, we'll start sleeving up any of the pulls we've got, and we obviously want to get the promos sleeved up straight away. So just picking them off the top, not in any particular order, we've got Evolving Skies up next. We 
this set is currently going for quite a bit as well it's obviously got the ed illusions and things the uh, legendary birds so there's a lot of sought after cards in it so i've seen costco started selling them so people are trying to sort of get some money's worth for them another evolving skies don't have long now until Silver Tempest so if you guys comment below what you're hoping to pull from the new upcoming set it's a lot of nice looking cards to be fair and behind there oh so we've got an alt art that's sick let's go guys so we have a very Batman looking Neuven V alt art from Evolving Skies so very good so we have a full art and we have a alt art already. See, so yeah, it's quite a pricey product, but like I say, you are going to make your money back just with the guaranteed bits alone. And then anything else, obviously, that we pull is a bonus. Uh, the product retails at £120 in the UK, but people are obviously going to try and get more for it. So we've got a boost shape reverse hollow in there. So yeah, lovely scalpers are gonna try and buy it, buy up all the stock and then flip it for a profit. Okay, let's flip through these. So it's almost like half a booster box worth really. So we've already had an alt art, so that's a really good start. Next up, so what we got, Fusion Energy. Okay, so we have a Cinder Ace VMAX, the big chonky looking thing. At least we're getting some more hollows. It's always a bit depressing if you open like a lot of packs and you know, you're just getting like regular rares and reverse hollows and things. It's pretty bleak. You, you at least want to get something to show for the packs that you've got. I've heard kind of mixed things about these UPC pull rates so far. I know it's early days, but... One, two, three, four. Okay, so what's in this one? This is the last of the Fusion Strike, I believe. nothing early in that one so we'll go with brilliant stars next so obviously Charizard V star was in this set originally it's got a very nice alt art as well sorry the regular Charizard V is the one with the alt art Gloria I do really like Brilliant Stars, it's one of my favourite of the Sword and Shield set. With another one. And obviously Brilliant Stars is also the set which introduced Arceus, which has been a meta staple for quite a while now. Amazing card though. Cynthia's Ambition, our gal Cynthia. Doof. Collapse Stadium. Ah, uh, got a bit barrel. Great card. Great card. It's not a valuable card, but this is such a great draw engine. Uh, next, we've got the Charizard pack with the poster boy himself. Kanzard, bless us. We're wearing the Zard t shirt today as well. Come on, guys. So we've got a Houndoom, so this is a trainer gallery. And uh, we have a Manaphy, which to be fair actually I needed one of these, this one that protects from uh, damage 
from attacks to the bench. So a really useful card. We'll sleep that up. So we have left. We'll go with the Astral. No, we'll go with Viv Vivid Voltage next. This set has the big chunky Pikachu, which would be nice to pull. I uh, just got Jolteon. And then we'll go on to Astral Radiant to finish off with the Lost Origin, I think. It's got a V-Star in that, rather than an Energy. It's the first one we've had today. So we've got a Pawniard and a Miss Magius. So including this one, this, so including this one, we've got four packs left. Catelyn Clone's great card. Gdenia's Vigor, great card. Soul Hollow. So last Astral Radiance, then we finish it off with two Lost Origin. So we started really, really strong. It's kind of fizzled out a bit, but you know, there's still hope for some good pulls. Another good Enia's Vigor. It's great in any decks that play the Grass Energy because Energy Acceleration is just so strong. Ooh, that's nice, very, very nice. I, I didn't even realize we've gone past the reverse hollow then, but we have a origin form Dialga V-Star. Elliot plays this deck. Uh, it's really cool being able to turn skip. So nice, we've got another full art. So we've got two more packs, both lost origin. So the latest set, apart from Silver Tempest, obviously, which is kind of going through pre-release everything at the moment. All right, let's do it. I hate when they flip the QR codes rock, like the wrong way round when you're opening. Okay, power sucked. So we knew that was going to be a dud. And finally, so we've got a Zoroark, our booster pack of Lost Origin. Right, let's do it. Lost City, Gift Energy, Jinx, we have a Basculin, Inke, Paris, Zorua, and then we have a Duckler, and to finish it off, we have a Beautifly. So at least it's a hollow, and we had overall some really good pulls actually, so I'm not going to complain at all. So we have the three guaranteed, we have the Charizard V, Charizard V Max, and the Charizard V Star. And then we pulled the Origin Form Dialga V Star. We pulled the Houndoom Trainer Gallery, the Cinderace V Max, the Alt Art Neuvern V, and the Rhyperia V Full Art. So I had a lot of fun opening this product, and I hope you did too. It's really nice to be able to pick up the gold damage counters, coins, bits like that and we had some really good luck as well with these polls. Please remember to hit the like button, it really helps the channel out, and make sure you subscribe to be notified of future uploads. So thank you very much, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks very much, guys.